So, yeah, one of the things that I want to talk about is the jump from being Jewish to Christianity. Now, early Christianity had three groups of Christians. Uh, one was the, uh, the Jerusalem Christianity. So these were Christians. They believed in Jesus, but they were Jewish. They followed the Jewish law, but they were in Jerusalem. And the head, uh, the head of them was James, the brother of Jesus. So that was, uh, you, I'll just say J, C for Jewish, uh, Jerusalem Christians, okay? And the other group, and now this is a simplification, of course, but uh, the point is to get the basic idea. Then Paulian Christianity uh, was the second form of Christianity, and the third was the Gnostic Christians. And the Gnostic Christians basically believed the God of the Old Testament was a demigod. He was different from the God of the New Testament, and so on and so forth. Now, Pauline Christianity and Jerusalem Christianity believed in the same God. That is, that they, they're both the God of the same revelation, and uh, they're the same God of the creator of the heavens and the earth, and so on and so forth. But however, especially... Jews who take that leap from becoming Jewish to Christianity, I would like them to consider the difference between the Jerusalem Christians and the Pauline Christians. You know, the Jerusalem Christians, they followed the Jewish law. They believed in Jesus. And their group was run by one of the cousins called the brother of Jesus, or the brother of Jesus. Uh, he was known as James the Just. And I invite every... Jewish person who's made that leap, uh, who is a Jew for Christian, uh, Jews for Jesus, uh, to study. I mean, we're all for Jesus. But if you study James, somebody who actually knew Jesus, the apostles who knew Jesus, what their theology was and how it was different from Paulian Christianity, where over here it was more about the message of Jesus. And Paulian Christianity believes in one God, but three gods and one God, whereas these believers, uh, James, also known as Yahu, uh, was believing in one God, the same God of the Old Testament, but not in one and three and three and one. So this was, this is much closer to the Jews, the J Jesus of Jerusalem, Jesus who followed the law of God, not Paul, who said it's not important to follow the law of God. And, uh, <clears throat> and that if you read the books on this, it becomes very clear that James, who led the early Christians, was the first major figure to lead the early Christians, was the successor, the true successor of Jesus, peace be upon him, believed in one God and believed that Jesus was a servant of God, and that he was a prophet of God, just like Moses and David and Solomon and so on and so forth. And... Uh, they followed Jesus, and that Jesus, uh, after his victory over the uh, temple, Jesus had taken over the city, and James was his successor. And just like they killed Zechariah, uh, they killed John the Baptist, they tried to kill Jesus, and then they killed, uh, um, they killed uh, James the Just, and even uh, other uh, apostles. And you got to remember that Paul was for the most part against uh, the Jerusalem church and against the ideas of the Jerusalem church, especially in regards to food. So like the Jewish people know what the laws of food are when it comes to uh, their way of life. And so Jews, Jesus followed the, the, he followed the Sabbath, he went to the synagogue. He, and so from, if you study this group of Christians, Islam, comes very natural because we believe in Jesus but we don't believe he's God and so what I want to basically say is that study this group of Christianity and see how it leads very naturally into a transition into Islam and then I invite you to read the Quran and what it says about Jesus and what they believed in Jesus and about Pauline Christianity what it believes about uh, uh, what it believes about salvation, what it believes about Jesus, so on and so forth, and how it's different from what the original uh, Christian church 
uh, under Jane's suggest was believing. And go ahead and do your research on this. It's a very, very important topic, and I really hope that you will. Thank you.